Hello everyone, this is Nishant here and today I'll be talking about engines. Essentially what you see in the figure is the internal combustion engine. So we'll be keeping our discussion limited to the IC engine or the internal combustion engine. So this diagram here shows the basic parts of the IC engine. So let's first look into the parts and then I'll go into the working and then I'll tell you about the chain of transmission of power that is generated by the engines and how it is transmitted to the wheels. So coming first to the components, uh, this is a very good diagram to understand the components. First we start with the camshafts, okay, so we've got two camshafts over here, that is the intake camshaft and the exhaust camshaft. These are located above the engine cylinder in this diagram. So we have the intake valve attached to the intake camshaft and the exhaust valve attached to the ex uh, exhaust camshaft essentially what the role of the camshaft is that it regulates the opening of this intake valve and the exhaust valve so the thing is that the exhaust valve and the intake valve has to open at a particular time so that the, so so that so as to maximize the uh, efficiency of the engine so there is also a timing belt which is present somewhere around here which wraps around this intake cam and the exhaust cam so by the timing belt we can regulate the opening of the intake valve and the exhaust valve and uh, coming next to engine cylinder this is the engine cylinder which is basically uh, which basically contains the piston that is here and it's connected by a connecting rod to a crankshaft this is the crankshaft okay so the crankshaft in turn is connected to the flywheel over here and then there's a present of clutch a uh, clutch is present after the flywheel and then you have got the gearbox assembly okay so I'll be coming to the chain of transmission of power later on so first it's important to understand the workings of the ICE engine okay so uh, now that we are clear about the components we can go ahead and look as to how this thing works so I'll give you a brief idea first and then I'll go into the details so what happens essentially is that the first this intake valve opens and then there is the flow of air which comes in via the intake manifold somewhere over here this air is uh, brought into the engine cylinder the piston goes down like in this case this also creates a negative sort of pressure which draws in air and uh, then you've got the fuel injector which is present somewhere around here it's not shown here but uh, the fuel injector is present so the fuel is sprinkled into the engine cylinder and then what happens is that the piston goes up again this compresses the fuel air mixture and then we have the the spark which is generated by the spark plug which is present over here so the spark plug generates the spark and this co creates an explosion and this pushes the piston down with a very rapid force and that is what uh, generates the torque which is then transmitted to the crankshaft which is over here so this rotates as the piston goes down with a sharp power stroke and this rotation is then transmitted by the flywheel clutch uh, to the gearbox and then to the drive shaft and finally to the wheels via the differential so that is the basic working also once we have got the power stroke uh, the piston again moves up to uh, to help release the the combustion pro uh, products which is then sent to the exhaust via the egg opening of the exhaust valve so that is how the basic basic uh, working of the IC, IC engine is so now looking into some more detail here is a diagram showing uh, all the four phases of the uh, engine engine power generation process so we have got the intake stroke we have got the compression stroke then we have got the com uh, power stroke or here is present combustion but it's usually called the power stroke and then we have got the exhaust so uh, first the air is drawn in by the opening of the intake valve and then the fuel is also sprinkled here and then the piston moves up this compresses the fuel air mixture and then we obviously have a spark plug over here which ignites the spark and this causes the explosion so we've got the power stroke this goes down here it's going it's, it is it will go down here and then it again comes up to release the products of combustion which are then sent out by the egg via the exhaust so that is how it works 
now looking into the chain of transmission of power here's a diagram showing the chain of transmission so we have uh, learned how the power is generated in the engine so the power stroke creates a rotation in the crankshaft so this rotation is then transferred by the flywheel to the clutch or the torque converter so basically the clutch is present in the manuals or uh, and the torque converter is present in the automatic so um, the power is then transmitted to the gearbox or the transmission which is present over here and depending on the gear selected the power again is transmitted via the drive shaft to the differential and then finally to the two wheels so what the differential basically does is that it instructs the speed at which the right wheel here will rotate uh, in in respect to the left wheel so say we are going into a left corner so the distance that the left wheel has to cover is uh, slightly less compared to the right wheel so the differential instructs this wheel to rotate at a higher speed compared to this wheel so that there is no uh, rubbing of the tires and that is basically how the chain of transmission works so i hope uh, it's uh, i hope the video was clear about the working of the engine and if you have any doubts please feel free to ask in the comments thank you